The wizarding world is one full of wonder, so it's not surprising that the most famous sport, Quidditch, is captivating. Flying through the sky, tossing the quaffle, dodging bludgers, and looking for that ever-elusive snitch, it's no wonder that we fans are desperate to know more. And J.K. Rowling hasn't failed to offer an incredible amount of lore. With all this information, we can't help but wonder which broom is the fastest. Is it from the Nimbus or the Clean Sweep series? And how does Harry Potter's trusty Firebolt compare to the new brooms introduced to fans in 2014? Here's a look at the 10 fastest Quidditch brooms rooms in the Harry Potter universe. In 10th place, we have the Comet 260. The broom was first introduced to fans in the book version of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, when Cho Chang is introduced as the Ravenclaw's Seeker, and is later spotted in the hands of Nymphadora Tonks when she makes her debut appearance, acting as a member of the Advance Guard in the Order of the Phoenix. Don't call me Nymphadora. The broom was also featured in Quidditch Through the Ages, where the Comet series' reputation of being an excellent choice for new Quidditch players is explained. Apparently, when the Comet series was first being released, they were the only ones offering a broom with a built-in breaking charm. This reputation for being great for the young and new flyers can be seen through its appearance in games. The Comet 260 makes an appearance in the Game Boy Color version of the 2001 game Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. When Harry needs to capture the flying key to complete Fletwick's challenge at the end of the game, Ron, who is still only 11 and a new flyer, gives his broom to Harry, triggering a pop-up that tells the player that they have received a Comet 260. A few years later, fans saw the Comet when it was the default broom in the 2003 PlayStation 2 game Harry Potter Quidditch World Cup, where it's described as being extremely versatile. While the speed of the Comet 260 reaching 60 miles per hour with a decent tailwind, it's safe to say that it deserves the 10th place on our list. Next up is a broom from the company that created the first ever broom for racing and was an obvious favorite of the Weasley family, the Clean Sweep 11. While the Clean Sweep 5 was used by Fred and George Weasley during their year as the Gryffindor beaters, it's Ron who got the fastest version of the Clean Sweep. In Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, after Ron is announced to be the new prefect, his mother gifts him with a brand new broom. Later, Ron used the Clean Sweep 11 to help his team win not one, but two Hogwarts Quidditch Cups as the Gryffindor Keeper. The Clean Sweep 11 comes with a varnish that protects from jinxes, a vibration control feature, and can reach speeds of 70 miles per hour, making it the perfect broom for sports. Though the broom is fairly expensive, as any racing broom is, the Clean Sweep 11 is certainly worth every galleon, sickles, and nuts. The eighth broom up on our list is one that only die-hard Harry Potter fans will know about. The Australian Flyabout 50 has only made one appearance in the Harry Potter franchise when it was seen in Harry Potter Quidditch World Cup. Not much is known about the broom. Fans didn't even know the name of the broom until the concept artist for the game, Ross Dearsley, released some of the designs on his official art blog. Eagle-eyed fans were able to notice the name Australian Flyabout 50, written under the brooms used by the Australian team during their matches. While we don't know the official speed of the broom, we can safely say that, if the entire professional team is willing to play with them, the Australian Flyabout 50 must be an incredibly fast broom, securing at the spot number 8 on our list. In 7th place, we have one of the most well-known brooms from the Harry Potter universe. It's a Nimbus 2000! The broom was gifted to Harry by Professor McGonagall in his first year after he was named the Gryffindor Seeker. While it was incredibly expensive, the Nimbus 2000 was known as the fastest broom available, making the price worth it. While the Nimbus 2001 was released a year later and was said to be faster, we decided to give this spot to the Nimbus 2000 because of its performance. Even though Draco and the rest of the Slytherin team had the Nimbus 2001 in the Chamber of Secrets during the Gryffindor and Slytherin match, it's clear that Harry is the fastest of the two Seekers. This difference in speed could be because of the difference in skill between Harry and Draco, but professional Quidditch teams also show a preference for the Nimbus 2000, the national Japanese Quidditch team choosing it over the 2001 model in the Quidditch World Cup game. With Harry's performance and the Nimbus 2000 being the broom of choice by professional teams, it's clear which broom deserves the seventh spot. With the Nimbus's success on the market, the Twigger 90 was designed specifically to outperform it. The broom was made to be able to go warp speeds and had multiple charms put on it, such as a warning whistle, to offer more than any other broom ever had. Ironically, this dedication to being better than the Nimbus was what ended up being the Twigger 90's downfall. After all, there's a reason that this broom was only ever mentioned in Quidditch Through the Ages. Due to all the extra features the broom advertised, it was seen as being too much and quickly gained a bad reputation. It was 
was labeled as the broom to buy when you have more money than sense, and quickly lost any chance it had at beating the Nimbus on the market. But hey, at least it managed to beat the Nimbus in our list, even if it only managed to do so because of that warp speed. At number 5, we have the fastest broom introduced during Harry's time at Hogwarts. The Firebolt, first introduced during Harry's third year when it was gifted to him by some mysterious person. The broom was able to reach an amazing 150 miles per hour, was created using goblin-made ironwork, and had a breaking charm built into it. Made with the finest materials, the Firebolt beat out all other brooms when it came to speed and price. Few people could afford the broom, and even less were able to actually own it, thanks to the countless strikes and walkouts from the poor goblins hired to make the Firebolts, making Harry one of the few owners of this broom. While the Firebolt was able to reign supreme throughout the rest of the series, fans soon learned about other brooms that were faster than they ever could have imagined. In 2014, the Pottermore site celebrated the 427th Quidditch World Cup by releasing news articles covering the event, featuring well-known characters such as Ludo Bagman, Rita Skeeter, Victor Crumb, and even the now married Ginny Potter. In these articles, fans were able to get a peek at what had happened in the wizarding world since the defeat of you know who, including a look at the brooms chosen by the final four teams. One of these brooms was the Star Sweeper 21, which was used by the American team who ended up flying their way into fourth place. While we don't know much else about these brooms, we do know that they have to at least be fast enough to keep up with our top three brooms, securing its spot at number four. Another broom featured in the 2014 Quidditch World Cup was the Yaji Rushi, revealed for the first time for the tournament. These brooms helped propel the Japanese national team into the semifinals. In an article entitled Place Your Bets with Ludo Bagman, the team is noted to have an unbreakable defense and unrivaled skills, which gave them 4-1 to odds of winning the tournament. While the team lost in the semifinals, it was made clear that the speed of their brooms wasn't the reason they lost. Not only did the game last for 10 hours, but at one point, the seeker for the Japan team was able to catch one of the Bulgarian beaters after they protected one of their teammates and fell from their broom because of it. With the edgy rushy being fast enough to catch up to someone falling through the air, it's pretty obvious that this broom deserves third spot. The second fastest broom ever introduced in the Wizarding World is the Thunderbolt 7, made to beat our number one broom. The Nigerian national Quidditch team took the Thunderbolt 7 with them to the World Cup in hopes that they would win. Despite its speed rivaling all other brooms, it was quickly revealed that the broom was a terrible choice. During the quarterfinals, a bludger managed to break the Nigerian Seeker's broom, something that all brooms should be able to handle. This event forced an investigation to be made into the Thunderbolt. Though fans never learned the results of the investigation, it's clear that these brooms were made for speed and not safety. Despite how dangerous the Thunderbolt 7 is, this is a list about the fastest brooms, so it's safe in the number two spot. Finally, we have the fastest broom in the wizarding world. The number one contains what is undoubtedly a familiar and unfamiliar name, the Firebolt Supreme, used by the Bulgarian team, who not only won the 2014 Quidditch World Cup, but also managed to have the fastest average snitch capture time out of every team. It's clear to see that the Firebolt Supreme lives up to its name. Plus, with other brooms on the market trying to market themselves as rivals to this broom, it's clear which one is really the fastest. And if an entire team has access to the brooms, it's safe to say that they also managed to improve work conditions to stop the strikes. So good for those goblins! 